Budweiser, a major World Cup sponsor with exclusive rights to sell beer at the tournament, will serve beer within the ticketed perimeter surrounding each stadium, but not in the stadium stands or concourse. This year's World Cup is the first to be held in a Muslim country with strict controls on alcohol, presenting unique challenges for organizers of an event sponsored by a major beer brand and often associated with beer drinking fans. Beer will be available when gates open, which is three hours before kickoff. Whoever wants to have a beer will be able to. And then when they leave the stadium as well for one hour after the final whistle, uh, the source said. Additionally, Budweiser will be permitted to serve beer in part of the main FIFA fan zone in central Doha from 6.30 p.m. to 1 a.m. every day of the 29-day tournament, which kicks off on November 20th. At previous World Cup tournaments, beer was served in fan zones all day long. The decision about where and when beer will be sold to fans is now finalized, but the price fans will be charged for the beer is still under discussion. Qatar's World Cup organizers, the Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy, did not respond to requests for comment about the World Cup controls on alcohol. Qatar's government media office uh, directed requests to the Supreme Committee. There are four matches scheduled on most days of the tournament's group stage, with the earliest match kicking off at 1 p.m. Questions have swirled around the role, of al the role alcohol would play in this year's World Cup since Qatar won hosting rights in 2010. While not a dry state like neighboring Saudi Arabia, consuming alcohol in public places is illegal in Qatar. Visitors cannot bring alcohol into Qatar, even from airport duty-free, and they cannot buy alcohol at the country's only liquor store on the outskirts of Doha. Only foreign residents with permits can shop there for home consumption. Visitors can drink at a few dozen licensed hotels and clubs, where a pint of beer can cost at least $18.